I had something to do with Bracey's death. Hey! The devil made you do it, huh? Not the devil, a ghost. He talks me through the phone. He doesn't talk. Not actually. Not actually. Mm. Tell me, Mr. Sharma, is this voice in your head? Look, I know how it sounds, but it's the truth. It's also the truth that you and your girlfriend broke into private property. We didn't break in. That's a bit dramatic. We had the keys. I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say that that happened barely a day after I met you for the first time, standing over a dead body, holding a knife. Wait. Do you think I had something to do with Bracey's death? Did you have anything to do with Bereci's death? No, of course not. But you understand how it looks. Granted, it looks like you rescued his son. But how did you know exactly where he was? I told you I heard him crying in the church. I thought the phone told you where he was. And then this evening, we catch you trying to steal a bunch of Bereci's research. What exactly is your obsession with Paul Bereci? Look, I didn't kill Paul Bracey, if that's where your head is at. Did you see any signs of struggle? Or any stab wounds? No, we didn't. But we did see that his body had been moved. I don't suppose you had anything to do with that. This is ridiculous. How did you know Paul Bracey? I didn't know him at all. Look, I don't know if you had anything to do with Paul Bracey's death, but I do know that you just happened to land right in the middle of this very messy equation, and I intend to find out exactly what you have to do with all of this. Hey, is that my, is that my gum? What do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs>